Hello everyone, this is the Cardano Coder, aka Christian, and today I want to quickly go over how to get started developing on Cardano. So, as you know, this is a way different video than most of mine. Most of my other videos are covering projects, but every few weeks or month I want to make a more technical video. Um, yeah, so this would just be about how to get started developing. So, the main thing about developing on Cardano that makes it different from uh, like a smart contract platform like Ethereum is its main language is a functional programming language instead of an object-oriented programming language. And uh, most developers are familiar with object-oriented programming, so there's kind of a steep learning curve to get getting started developing on Cardano because you have to learn the functional style of programming. Um, yeah, so the language they use to develop is called Plutus, and Plutus is essentially a Haskell library, which Haskell is a functional programming language. It's a Haskell library that is then compiled through Plutus, which makes it um, its own language, I guess. But you can basically think of it as its own like large library in Haskell. So the first thing I would recommend doing, because Haskell and Plutus are so similar, I would recommend actually learning Haskell. And then once you start developing on Plutus, it will be a lot easier. So there's this one... Um, professor at um, Nottingham University that teaches uh, Haskell programming and his um, all of research all of his resources are, are online and it is very helpful so I I went through this course and it was like extremely easy to follow and he teaches it very well you can see here he has like the course outline he has all the lectures every two weeks he'll add a new lecture and um, yeah it's just an extremely helpful course and it's very easy to go through and then he also has an advanced version which I would also recommend going through this because uh, things like monads are really important um, in Plutus and again there's a web page for this course as well yeah so highly recommend learning Haskell first because that's a good place to start um, building on learning Plutus so then there's also this book which everyone in the IOG uh, community recommends is if you're into like doing textbooks like I'm not too into like programming textbooks but it is still a good book it is free online or you can order it um, yeah it just has all the basics and it is like I said it's well recommended by the um, like Cardano development community all right so that's Haskell I would really recommend going through those two courses maybe getting this book and then moving on to the Plutus Pioneer program this is something you may have heard of Basically, it's a course that um, IOHK hosts every like three or four months. So right now they're on the seventh lecture of this, and this is the third time they're teaching this course. So I took it back um, last summer, or I guess two summers ago. And yeah, it, it is a very good course, but the thing is like having some background knowledge of like command line interfaces and Haskell will be very helpful because first time I went through this, I had no idea what Haskell was. So I'm kind of re-going through it because um, it would be very useful to know how Haskell works and like the syntax of it. Yeah, so I'll link this um, course in here. But yeah, there's a Discord for this and um, taking this course is definitely like the number one way to learn Plutus. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, here's the YouTube channel. This is where they post all the uh, lecture videos. Um, so, yeah, that's good. And then one other thing is there's a actual official development portal for um, Cardano that IOHK hosts. So you can see here there's all these different small courses. You can learn how to operate a stake pool, um, smart contracts. And all these just have a bunch of good documentation and tools to learn how to do it. Um, and then also there's the Cardano Stack Exchange, which is like Stack Overflow, except for Plutus and Cardano. So definitely recommend going here and checking this out when you have any question, questions, because um, they're trying to build this out to have good documentation. Okay, so there's that for how to start developing on Cardano and Plutus. Uh, just quick overview, do Haskell, then do the Plutus Pioneers program, then maybe check out some of these if you're more interested in um, specific applications and then one last thing to do which maybe if you're more in, into front-end development you can look at Blockfrost. So Blockfrost is a API service that you can 
make some pretty good API calls too. You can't get price data, but you can get most like token data. And it's, I've been playing around with it for a while and it's pretty cool. You can like figure out what, um, assets are connected to a wallet. And, like it's very easy to set up right now. I'm programming in Python uh, to do it, but, um, yeah, that's basically it for how I would get, how I would start getting to develop on Cardano. Um, if you guys are interested in more of the technical side of things, um, please leave a comment or something. But yeah, I, I'm very interested in the development aspect on Cardano. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.